Version 1.3 of the lifting inserts extension now includes support for direct modification. When you activate the extension, it now asks you directly in the model to pick the face to apply the inserts to. When you select the inserts, it now gives you dimensions which you can modify directly. You can also drag these dimensions. These dimensions represent the spacing zones. The same is shown on the user interface, A, D through H. You can change them through the model directly or you can use the user interface. This also includes the context menu. The context menu allows you to change some of the basic properties for the extension without opening the user interface. For example, if I want to change the lifting insert component, I can select it from the drop down list and it will instantly switch it in the model. You also have access to the face that they're applied to, whether center of gravity is calculated from the center of the assembly or the center of the part, and the type of placements. You can open the user interface from this context menu by clicking on the gear wheel. In addition to the distance spacing zones, you can also access the offsets for the individual nodes. Once you change this edit mode from spacings to offsets, you can then see the offsets labeled one through the number of inserts that you have. You can then directly drag each individual offset independently if you need to work around other objects in the model. Once you have added an offset to the individual lifter, if you click on the handle and then go back to the contextual menu, you can see at the top, there's the offset for this individual lifter. And you can see here it's offset two foot in X minus one foot in the Y. This is the local plane of the part, which you can see painted on the face here with the orange symbol for the coordinate system. This represents the face of the lifter offsets and shows you the directions that the offsets travel. You can also turn the offset on and off here. If you want to remove the offsets, you can click on an individual node and through the context menu, if you click on the red X, it removes the offsets and places it back in the default spacing zone. This is also shown through the user interface. If I open the user interface and I look at offset number six, you can see here that it has that same value to minus three. You can change them in either place. Depending on the spacing method, you may have more than one different visualization of the direct modification graphics. For example, here, these are not distances from the edge. These are percentage of the solid values, length, width, height, placement from each edge. And in this case, you can't drag the individual dimensions because these are percentages. But you can change the percentage here by just entering the number. For example, we can go from 0.28 to 0.24. And then that lifter is now spaced 24% of the width in that direction. And this works in the other dimensions too. And you see if you change the offset zone in one location, it'll affect others. That's because the zones are relative to each other. You see F zone is placed relative to the end of where E is. If your placement method is spacing these relative to the part or assembly center of gravity, Instead of drawing the dimensions or percentage line values from the edges, it will draw them from that center and it will draw a small visualization plane to denote that that is spaced relative from that center of gravity in each direction. You cannot move the plane because that's based on the solid center of gravity, but you can adjust the dimensions or percentage values around them.